If you've heard of the new plan from the Biden administration, where buyers and sellers can get a $10,000 tax credit, don't sign on the dotted line just yet. Let's talk about the program for buying first. While they haven't rolled out all details yet, there is an income limit as well as criteria for a specific price range and length you need to stay in the home. If you've already decided you want to buy a home and are presently looking, then if you qualify, this could be a great incentive. But if you have been on the fence and aren't really in a hurry to buy right now, I would not change gears solely because of this program. Assuming you are working with a realtor that has educated you on the market and the high prices in different areas that haven't yet gone down, coupled with interest rates that are struggling to go less than 7%, are two very good reasons to look, but not just jump, because you may get a $10,000 credit. Details can change and have not yet been solidified. Again, if you are already looking and want or need to buy anyway, then yes, it can be a great program. And what about sellers? This option, to me, as a licensed real estate broker seems nothing less than absurd. Sounds enticing, right? Again, if you are selling no matter what and this just happens to fall into your good karma for perfect timing, that's one thing. But a majority of potential sellers could be sitting on an interest rate of 3.25% or 3.5%, and their new rate will most likely be around 7%. That $10,000 tax credit is a raindrop in a huge bucket that will make little to no difference. Buying a home today for $300,000 at 7% interest is just about double the payment from their present interest rate of 3.25% or whatever they have on their mortgage. Realtors and lenders are hungry right now, and there are so many confusing balls being tossed their way. There is inflation, which by all indicators does not seem to be going down. There are interest rates that have still not dropped. There is a huge lack of inventory for buyers to choose from. There are new rules and regulations for realtors taking effect in July of this year, which will make a significant difference in how they do business. Hopefully you will have a realtor and lender that will be totally transparent with you. A $10,000 credit is good for buyers and sellers, but it should not be a reason to jump into a sale if you weren't really planning on it. I would also ask your accountant if you would even get the tax credit in the end. Nothing has been etched in stone yet, but I believe the buyer tax credit thus far is structured to be spread out in two years. You also have to stay in the home for four years to avoid penalties. For sellers, there are several stipulations as well, and it may be too early to really know what they are. I would also recommend a solid relationship with your lender and explore all other programs because they are a lot of programs out there, especially for the first-time home buyer. Buying and selling real estate right now is challenging and a process that needs to be thoroughly explored. It is also good to look at other options like HUD homes or pre-foreclosure and actual foreclosed homes in your neighborhoods. It's a good way to see what's going on in real estate around you and possibly get access to a home before it hits the market. I wish you the very best of luck in the home buying and selling process.